Here I'll show the method that I've used to determine the twist rates of some of the older black powder handguns, and it can also be used on uh, modern uh, handguns as well as um, black powder rifles. Here I'll do a Smith & Wesson K and a Ruger Old Army because then I can check the results I get against the known values. Here's some of the things that I used. I also used a hot glue gun. And if the disc is actually glued to the end of the cleaning rod, as I did with uh, Ruger, you're going to get a more exact measurement of the angle. Um, no doubt what I've done here can be improved on, but I think the basic idea works out quite well. Next, we're going to cut out the disc that we'll use to mark the angles on so we can see how much the jag is rotated inside the barrel. That disc doesn't have to be perfectly round or anything. We do need a center portion on it. And what we'll do in this case is shove the um, cleaning rod through that center section and then hot glue that onto the cleaning rod at that point. And then as we shove the cleaning rod in using the point where the handle was, that disc will actually rotate along with the cleaning jag. The next step wasn't really necessary, but I decided to staple a manila disc that I cut out here onto the cardboard because the cardboard had a bunch of writing on it that uh, might interfere with what we're doing. So I thought we'd clean that up a bit and staple that uh, disc onto it. Here we are. I think it goes without saying. First thing we do, check to make sure we aren't loaded. We're going to have that positioned about like this. So let's get a, a jag on the end of this that fits. Fits the 38. It'll be this one, I think. It's got to be large enough. So we got a tight fit with the, the cleaning rag or whatever we got here. Okay, it's in there, about where we want it, and if we push on this, we can see that our disc is turning, that's what we want. So we're going to bring that back out so we got as much distance as we can, get on it, and next we're going to measure, this is a 6 inch barrel, so I think uh, if I use 4 inches, the movement is what I want, so what we're going to do is measure four inches up from the barrel end, and that's where our tape, that's where our tape comes in. So, got our tape, the four inch point, four inch mark. So when we ram our cleaning rod in here, we're going to end up with a movement of, of four inches in the barrel, and we're going to see what kind of a amount of turn that we've got. We marked a starting point and started to use a ballpoint pen to shove the cleaning rod. Then we realized that with the uh, rotating ability of this cleaning rod, that wouldn't be necessary. We shoved the rod in. Um, four inches to where the tape was and then again made a mark at that spot. Next we drew two lines so we could measure the number of degrees that the uh, jag had uh, rotated in that four inches of barrel. And it's looking like about a quarter of a turn, a little less. So if it did a quarter turn in, in uh, if it had done a quarter turn, which it didn't, in four inches that would be uh, 16, 1 and 16. What I'm going to have to do is a bird's eye view of this thing and determine the angle. So we're taking this 81 degree angle and putting that on our um, desk over here over 360 and finding out what that comes out to be. When we do the calculations there we take um, we take 4 times 360 and divide by 81 and we ended up with 17 0.8, which is not too far off from the 18.75 mark that um, we found in some charts that Smith actually does on their on their 38s. So we're about 6% off. I mentioned that a day ago we used that larger disc with the flat surface and we had a little easier time with the measurements of the angles and we came out with an 18.7 that time when we did the, the Smith. So 
uh, the system seems to work and we're going to use it next on a Ruger, uh, Ruger Old Army. Again we're going to check to make sure this thing isn't loaded. Pretty easy on a black powder piece. That looks like she's okay. We'll leave the cylinder in this gun and we'll leave it on the safety notch there. Okay, and let's get to doing this one. Okay, tape is on a five mark. Exactly, and here goes the rotation again. Okay, five. And here's where we like that flat disc on this end. So we can have a lot easier time reading that angle. Let's get a little better view of that. Uh, Angle measurement there, 100 and see if that focuses there, 115 degrees. We have uh, 115 degrees, and that's out of 360. We want to know that was a five-inch movement. We want to know what that'll end up. So we're going to take five times 360. And that equals 1800, and then we're going to divide that by 115. 15.65 or 15, 15.7, huh? So if we rounded that off, we're going to get 16, and 16 is what the Rugers have been rumored to have. Uh, we checked that out on the on the internet. Not that you can always believe everything out there, but we found a fellow out there that said they had a one and sixteen twist. Anyway, that's looking looking good. We're we were three tenths. If it's exactly sixteen, we're three tenths off out of fifteen. Around a two percent two percent error if the sixteen is actually correct. So I hope this video will help. If you're trying to find out the twist rate of one of your handguns, there may be other methods, but this one worked for me. Thanks for watching.